All right, I've got a video for you today on one of these pizzas I just picked up. Um, the box was very enticing, just the same as the bright green. They switched the box up on this, I noticed. It was in a less appealing box. Now, just looking at it made me, you know, made me want to impulse buy it for some reason. They're really good and good with their marketing. Great value is. But this is the Philly Cheesesteak Pizza. It's going to come with creamy cheese sauce, mozzarella, provolone, beef, peppers, green, uh, excuse me, green peppers, caramelized onions, and it says made with real cheese. Um, so just like the other, um, it's going to be cooked at 425. I'm using this uh, oven that I've got preheated here. So we're going to um, get it out of the box and see what we have here. If you notice something else in the background, I've got something that I want to jazz it up a little bit. Oh, that doesn't look bad. Look at that. So, right out of the package, I'm seeing all beef. That kind of made me happy. Like, ooh, look at that beef. There's that mushrooms, too. Yeah, that's beef. Mm, that looks good. All right, so let me kind of shake it up a little bit. What I like to do. sometimes I like to add a few toppings today just going to put a little bit of garlic powder there's a Philly cheesesteak pizza and then I have these string cheese these are always fun all right so what I'm going to do is tiny little pieces. I run them the same way I'm going to cut. Kind of like a clock, you know. Just making a little clock. And it'll probably take about two or three. But man, I found whenever... And you can do it without it. You know, you don't have to add this. I like it. The cheese is... The, the flavor, the quality of this cheese. It was made by a company, I think it's called Fuego. Or Fuego, but it's cheese heads. And that sound means it's preheated. So I'm adding my strips. This is going to be good. I can tell. Okay, I think I'm going to do one more and then we're going to throw it in with the oven. I was impressed by the amount of meat that's up here. I think that's a good value. Or excuse me, a great value. Okay, I'm going to throw that in the oven. Same as the last time. The cardboard is on the bottom. Make sure you don't throw that in there. And we're just going to let that cook. And I will let you know what the finished product looks like. Thank you for watching.